Well, you know, when they look, haven't, I don't think they have. All you have to do is look across the ocean to Donald Trump, and 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 to a lesser extent, um, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, and even Jeremy Corbyn to see what the power of a populist can be. I mean, Nigel Farage, and and then I'm struggling internally with my own party as well over this issue of everybody wants to step away now from the fact that we were once... Nigel, Nigel, was, Nigel yeah. Farage is the leader of UKIP. Yes, of the sorry. Independence parties. UK uh, independence they, parties. they are the party. true UK Tea Party, okay, in terms of nutters and, and, and the direction in which they want to take the country. Uh, yeah. But the personality politics, because of our celebrity culture, is taking over. And when I try to say to, to the people in my own party, look, guys, UKIP is one of those objects in the rearview mirror that is closer than it appears. And they're coming loud and they're coming hard. What are we going to do? We've got to develop sharper elbows or we're just going to be completely irrelevant. Mm. And so when I sit there and I try and explain that, I, I get these, yeah, yeah. And I'm so sick of nuance. And I'm so, you know me, you know, I'm so sick of weasel wording. I'm so sick of us saying, well, we address that because we had a intellectual debate about it. So therefore it's all resolved. But then I go out and I talk to voters in the constituency. Yeah. Uh, they don't like nuance. Do well, they? They don't, well, they're pissed. They are not, not pissed in terms of drinking. They're pissed off. They're angry. Yeah. The American they're, version. They're, the American version of pissed, not the British version. <laughs> because we went into government with the Tories and we raised tuition fees. So mm. my response is always, you stand up and you say, yeah, we screwed up. Yeah. We did yeah, that. I, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. 53 of our compatriots lost their jobs because of it. Mm. You were punished as a result. You were punished as a result. Elections have consequences. And to think you're going to go into any election and contest it the way you did five years ago, 10 years ago, in an environment where everybody walks around reaching down, where the hell did I throw it, and gets their yeah. news and information off phone. of their phone. Oh, right, yeah, the phone you threw The away. phone I threw, oh, there it is, over here. I mean, they get their news and information off of yeah, this. Of they do, yeah. They'll be listening to this podcast on this. Yeah. They'll be looking for videos on Facebook, on yeah. Twitter, on all of these programs. But what are we going to do? We're going to put a whole boatload of paper through your mail You're going to have leaflets, sir. <laughs> you can have leaflets through doors and things. You know what the definition of insanity is, right? <laughs> Doing the same thing over and over again, exactly the same way and expecting a different result. So when I sit in, either in this chair here as a podcaster or as a candidate out there on the hustings, I'm, <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. And it's not just us. It's every party oh, no, that thinks yeah. they're going to be able to contest this election, defeat UKIP, and stop all of yeah. this craziness just by... Rising above. Yeah. Well, it's they're bullshit. Leafless and stuff. It's total <laughs> bullshit. I mean... I said it. There it is. <laughs> they, Probably unelectable now. Basically, <laughs> the electorate, a lot, they don't like nuance. No. You know, and they want clear issues <sighs> and things, you know. So, Unilib Dems, they understand this issue of, you know, going back on the tuition fees and they understand issues of going into, you know, government with the Tories. Uh... You know, those are the sorts of things that have to be fought on. You know, nuance and you know, or you know, they just don't like that. Yeah, and you can't they have you like can't that. have a non-answer answer when somebody asks you a question. Hmm. Okay, you can't go to a talking point, which is what politicians love to do. If a journalist asks you a question that says, "Well, how would you respond to such and such?" You respond to it. Mm. You don't go back to your talking points because that's the safe ground and you know that the segment's going to be over in the next 30 seconds and you can get away with it. So what do you say when on the doorstep they say, yeah, but you went back on your word on tuition fees? I say you're right. <laughs> do you? I absolutely, on the, on the doorstep. I absolutely do. I say, you're not meant to say that. Right. You're not supposed to. I, <laughs> I say you're absolutely right. We did. It was a mistake. We paid for it dearly. And here's what we're doing now. You won't survive long in politics. You, if you're saying things like "you're right," <laughs> we screwed up. Well, I won't. I won't last <laughs> long in party politics the way it's currently conducted. But I mean, why do we have the rise of a Jeremy Corbyn? Why do we have the rise of a Bernie Sanders to a Donald Trump, a Nigel Farage? You know, yes, celebrity yeah. is a part of it, 
but there's an authenticity. I may not like who they are and what they stand for, but you know who they are. You have and to be it honest. does what it says on the tin. You have to be honest. I mean, the thing is that journalists like myself will zone in on these areas and, and, and you know, ask you different questions. You know, I mean, like the Greens were completely kebabs their leader oh. during the May election, yeah, and they will be again, unless they have an answer for a question. Or you and say, I don't know. Yeah, well, Hello? that's fine. I don't know, but I will find out. But people will have a hell of a lot more respect yeah. for you as a politician, yeah. to, for her, if she said, you know, I'm not fully up to speed on the know. housing issue, I don't know. I will certainly find out between I'll, now. I, I'll give you a few tips, right, on right. how to handle the media. I'm ready. Okay. The first one is, it's you know, if you want to make your answer short by saying I don't know, then that's fine. You just stop, because it's their job then to fill it if they want to. And the second thing is, never, I'm sure it works, never ever walk out of a TV interview, right? Because that immediately makes I'm you out guilty. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> that immediately makes you guilty. In yeah. thirty, well, twenty years in television. It's only about to be twice, right? One was a crook, and one was the head of BT in Wales. And as soon... Also a crook. <laughs> as soon as they start getting out of the chair, and you, I knew I had him. Yeah. And you then end up... St and you see this on camera, on TV yeah. and stuff. You then get the reporters saying, uh, well, the you know viewers want to see answer here. So you know you're winning, and all you've got is a shot of a disappearing back. You just fire questions at the disappearing at back. Disappearing back. Yeah. Well, what, take your seat, this, uh, Mr. X, Y, Z. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the viewers want answers here, yeah. so you know you are onto a winner because they immediately look guilty. Then I mean, I've been I've been I've been doing interviews for a long time, as you mm. know. And this isn't my first rodeo, mm. so I know that quite simply, you've got one job, and that is not embarrassed host. Okay, but that's the most important thing. Because you're never going to win. And my, I had a U.S. congressman friend used to say, Dennis, the one thing you never want to do is pick a fight with somebody who buys ink by the barrel. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, whether it's electronic ink or it's paper ink, you're going to lose. Yeah. So that's that's step one. Yeah. Step two, answer the bloody question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you obviously, uh... you've, either, you've either had a researcher or a producer come up or you've done it yourself with a series of important questions. That's very refreshing. So I've lost count the number of times you said, what they say, they'll say something like, um, well, you know, 90% of our policies are, blah, 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 blah. I don't care, I only care about the 10%, or, you know, and I heard it the other but day, But you see, what I, want to, what I want to see is someone like yourself say, <laughs> that was an answer. Maybe not to the question, that, but not to the question I asked. So can we go back to the question Absolutely. and keep pressing? You need you, more of that. Too many, of, too many journalists are got a producer buzzing in their ear. They're trying to fill, you know, what used to be a three to four minute time slot. It's back the buzz. I have to move the phone. Very, very popular. They got a producer trying to, you know, fill the time slot, firing questions and instructions into their ear. And they let so much crap slide. Yeah. And what yeah. I hate is the fact that journalists aren't doing their job and holding our feet to the fire. Hold your hold 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 people to account. I heard yesterday, in the middle of this debacle of the reshuffle, supposed reshuffle of the shadow cabinets, <laughs> on Five Live, Neil <coughs> Campbell was interviewing John McDonald, who's the shadow I heard that, chancellor. Yeah. And the uh, first question was all right, you know, this is ridiculous, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, what's going on with Hillary Benn, blah, blah, blah. And then John McDonnell, who's the shadow cabinet uh, chancellor, uh, said, um, uh, well, not, you know, Hillary Benn uh, and uh, Jeremy Corbyn agree on 99% of policy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and what you want is a journalist to come back and say, yes, but I don't want anything to do with that. The 99%. 99%. <clears throat> the 1%. Does That's he or know, doesn't he yeah. agree yeah. with Jeremy Corbyn on the 1%? They're so afraid. They went on. He let on to go on and on and on. Because you know what's happened. I don't care about the ninety-nine percent. So many people that were in the business of of publicity, being PR flax, are now running most newsrooms. So what happens is that 
everybody's worried about where the next job is going to be. Yeah, that's right. They don't want to offend somebody. I mean, even Nicky Campbell could go in the next shuffle at the BBC, and he'll want a cushy PR job working as a spokesperson for someone in the cabinet somewhere. So that, I mean, I I fully fault them. I mean, it's why you and I do what we do, because we're so sick and tired of of that. that, I mean, you know, the stuff that you write and have written over the holidays about, you know, really going after the excesses in government, we'll, we'll get to that a bit later. And the other one I can't stand writing is when press officers say, uh, you ask a question, and the press officers will say, uh, what's your agenda? Yeah. And I'm thinking, none of your damn none business. None of your business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just give me the information. You know, that's the whole <laughs> idea of, 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 of a free and independent press is that you're going to, you know, and you know the stuff you've written about Freedom of Information Act. If it wasn't for the Freedom of Information yeah. Act, in you know, in 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 the C block today, when we start talking about the the water crisis in in Michigan, if it wasn't for the Freedom of Information Act, nobody would know yeah. about it, and you wouldn't have a governor. Well, oh, fair play. To, I mean, because in you in America, mm-hmm. you've got that much stronger than we have, and that, that's that's so. And they're, they're rowing back on. Well, should be rowing in this context, I suppose. But I mean, they. <laughs> They will be changed in the Freedom of Information Act in the UK. That so we've got it's a pale version of what you've got. You've got in America. Well, it, and and you know, and, and even in America, just as here, they can find ways to absolutely not do anything about it. Yeah. Wow, that was a good discussion, man. But we got to move on.